braces, we use eight foot landscaping posts, but we cut them off and they're two feet in the ground. And then we use galvanized staples, it's the fencing staples. This is our temporary gate. We got it on Craigslist for free. Um, we use bungee cords and the chain right there to keep it shut. And then we have a little piece of wood right there so the animals can't push it open. Um, that's Sadie, our blue tick hound. And then Branch, our Nigerian dwarf. Um, our fence is four foot uh, red brand fence. It's the goat and sheep one and it's woven. And we got this one because we're focusing on Nigerian dwarfs and we don't want their heads to, um, or their horns to get caught in it. So they're kind of smaller, the squares are. It has about four inch uh, squares, square openings. Um, and we use just a 330 foot roll from Tractor Supply. And um, it did about an 80 by 80. Um, we did about a square. We also use six foot T-post. And then we use just T-post clips. We got about four on each of them, which is kind of an overkill, but we just wanted it to be super secure. And we have about 30 um, T-posts for a 330-foot roll of fence. And 10-foot increments. And then there's Branch being crazy. This is our homemade uh, fence stretcher. We got a piece of wood to the fence we got and just put four bolts through it. And then we hook this rope to it and put it on our side by side and it pulled it um, nice and evenly. And it definitely beats fine one because they are pretty costly. And this is how we put our T-post in. It's just a simple T-post driver. And we got it at Lowe's, but they have them pretty much at every farm store. But these are really good tools to have when you're putting up a fence. Um, especially this T-Post driver. It definitely helps having these. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more homestead tips. Um, there will be more to come. This is just the beginning of our homestead. And we'll see you next time.